Hey guys, it's me again, and um, so, first off, um, yes, uh, I, sorry I haven't posted a video in a couple of days, you know, with me being sick and all, and my voice being gone, you know, just bleh, but my voice is better now, and I can actually speak and talk and do tutorials and whatnot, so, I'm going to be coming up with a couple different tutorials more so lately, so you can expect more videos, and um, for those of you that have stuck around, uh, thanks. Anyways, uh, on to the video now, so. What I'm going to be showing you guys how to make is going to be a four uh, uh, four button, four combo, four, ugh, four button, four key combo uh, combination lock. So basically if we hit uh, three, four, one, two, the uh, torch turns off. Now this could be uh, led to a piston door or whatever. I just have uh, it led to a torch for uh, demonstrational purposes. Now if we were to hit... Um, it, four buttons in any random order, it's not going to turn off the torch because it is order sensitive and you have to enter the right combination for it to turn off the torch. So, um, this is it. It's not big. It's fully expandable to however much you'd like. And it's modular. So, let's uh, get to building it. Dun -dun -dun -dun. That's a lot of farm animals. Okay, so, let's stack two blocks like this, put some, oh god, that's impossible to see. Okay, put some buttons on whatever block you would like. And now we're gonna have to hook up some monostable circuits to them. Uh, the reason we want the monostable circuits is because if you mash the buttons on one that doesn't have the monostable circuits, it'll cause the reset line to jam, and um, well, stuff ain't gonna work properly. Let's just go with that. So what we're gonna add first off is just some torches along here. After we've put uh, alternated redstone repeater, redstone repeater. So um, where there is a re uh, ugh. okay, where's the where the blah, blah, blah. where there's a repeater, you're gonna want to put a piece of dust. Where there's the dust, you want to put a repeater. Oh man, oh man, I can't see it. Okay, there. <laughs> And so now we can put our torches back on here. And then we're gonna, oh, we're gonna wanna set these repeaters under here to four. Almost forgot about that. And then we're gonna wanna make some more repeaters, put them there and there in front of the dust. And then put some dust in front of these repeaters. We're gonna put some blocks in front of those. And as you can see here, we've got some monostable circuits set up, but uh, these two aren't turned off. The reason that is, you gotta put some dust here to get the power from that torch to this torch. This one's going through straight through there to the block, so it doesn't matter. So that's the modular kind of setup I have for the uh, monostable circuits, so that you can place them side by side and it won't matter. Next, we're going to be putting um, uh, the number of lines for however long you want the combo to be. Now, also, if you wanted um, more buttons, you can um, simply take uh, one of the slices and put it over next to this one. It's basically the one that you just got to keep alternating the pattern to uh, make sure that the lines don't cross over or intersect or whatever. So, anyways, past that. Um, so we're going to be adding these lines here. And depending on how many of these lines you have will depend on how long your combination is going to be. So since we're doing um, a four key combination, we just gotta put in four lines for the combo and then one line for the resets so for a total of five lines. So we have one, two, three, four, and one more. Yep. Um, now this isn't the fastest way you could possibly do it, but it is more compact. So if you guys wanted to see a faster way, but I don't think it really matters. This is only half a second of delay to the for a fifth one, Ugh. one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so I have a second of delay, but it's not too bad. Um, but if you wanted it faster, uh, it is possible. Anyways, um, so we have five. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some dust here, and we're gonna want to put a block on the ends of these before I forget. If okay, so you want a block on the ends of those just so you can uh, simply get power uh, to the counter easier. So we're just going to put a piece of dust there, and now we're going to take some repeat, uh, not repeaters, bleh, pistons, and put the, ooh, doink, okay, not that one. Um, the first four, you want to put pistons uh, beside, two of them, 
And this will be the reset line. That's why I didn't want to put a piston on there. So we're going to put some uh, stone blocks or bricks or whatever block you want to use. Just don't use glass. So there. And we're going to put some dust here. And a repeater there. And repeaters in between each one here. Okay. So. Whoa, whoops. No. Eh. We gotta expand this a little bit. Put it a piece of dust there, a block here, a block there, break that block, and put a torch here. Now what this is gonna do is basically um, when the first con the first uh, key that is entered, which is gonna be this line here, uh, it'll power this piston, which will make it so that this piston, the block, ugh, gets pushed up, which gets powered by this, which holds the piston in place until re the power is cut once. So basically, um, these ones won't stay up because there's no power going to the block, but if you enter the keys in order, it'll slowly make each of these pop up and stay out. So, now that we have um, that, we're going to make the reset line, which is pretty simple. Just some blocks here. Oh, okay, before we make the reset line, we're going to put some blocks beside the pistons here, put some redstone on top of that, and we'll run the re uh, reset line into it. Ugh. I'm forgetting about things left and right, you know. So there we go. Now we can stack the uh, reset line on top of that. And we'll throw in some repeaters for some delay. And run into this torch here. Okay, so that's good. Now, 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 we're going to want to uh, make the uh, combo. <laughs> so soon, I'm just going to do the simplest combo ever and go one, two, three, four. So. <laughs> Depending on, okay, so this line here will be the first line, which would be the first uh, button you have to hit. So we're going to put a piece of dust here, which means that when you hit button number one, which is this one, it'll run all the way down here and hit button number one. So then we're just going to put some blocks along here so that these repeaters can't power the current. And we'll put the line along there. And it just runs into the piston. So now we're going to do number two, which is this one. Number three would be that one, and four would be here. So then we just simply put some blocks like so. This one doesn't need a block, so you can just put a rest on the side since it's the last one. And we'll do that, and that. Now, the whole thing's set up. Now you just would want to wire your output. So this here would be uh, the output, the uh, repeater here. So then you can just, uh, you don't have to power it like that. If you know what a repeater does, we'll just think about it. So, yeah, blah, blah, blah. For, uh, just like I did in my demonstration, I'm just going to hook up a uh, redstone torch to it. Okay, so we did like the pretty much simplest combo ever of one, two, three, four. Oops. And off it goes. Oh, and on it came. Something happened. Hmm, weird. Anyways, so, so yeah, uh, one, two, three, four. And it's off, and it's back on. Yeah, that was weird. I haven't seen that happen before. Um, so yeah, that's how it works. It's pretty simple to build, pretty simple to expand, and uh, yeah. That's the tutorial in... Tutorial? Yeah, that's the tutorial in a nutshell, basically. So, um, yeah. Now, I'm going to show you guys one thing before I end the video, and that's going to be this. If you really want to expand it, you can expand it to... Well, what I did here was I made a nine-button panel with a six-button combination. So basically, three, six, nine, two, four, eight. And then I've just got the output uh, piston. And then it retracts. And you can uh, enter this as fast as you uh, can hit the uh, buttons. And there it goes. And it seemed to do it really fast. Anyways, that's pretty much it, I have to say. This one just is the same thing, but with the panel, of course, which is really annoying. And, uh, yeah, just spread out over this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial. And, um, yeah, see you guys later.